This is Jake Adams with Reef Builders, and I'm here at a new store in Denver, Colorado called Dorkfish Aquatics. And I uh, just walked in to check out their, their new place, and you see there's not quite much set up here yet, but uh, really, really nifty experiment. And with me is Eric Felder, who's going to tell me a little bit about this Ganya Pora Bowl. So what do you call your little creation you got here? Uh, pretty much just a, uh, well, originally what I was going for was a coral feeder bowl or a featured coral bowl that you could put under some sort of tank in your house to kind of feature, well, like the gonopore we have here that's open, flows really nice, gives good color, kind of grabs you. So eye. tell me how you set this up and how does it work really? What did you, what did you use? Okay, uh, well the bowl itself is actually kind of like a beta bowl. Oh. The yep. bowl itself here is kind of like a beta bowl. Right. Um, is it abatable? I believe this one actually is abatable. You can also, we can get them in different sizes as well in acrylic, uh, but we went with glass just due to the scratching factor. Uh, the actual container that you see right here is just a plexiglass box. Um, so the beta bowl is upside down? Yep, upside down on top of some just egg crate that you can get, uh, you know, for your frag table, stuff like that. A little egg crate tray? Yep. Um, again, just a prototype, but you know, we're trying to work on something a little bit. Tell right me here. how you get the flow in there. Okay, so what we did with the flow is we cut a hole in the side of the box uh, to let some flow go in and out to get a little bit of current. And then I used a piece of uh, plexiglass uh, tubing right here that we put into the snap lock, went in, and then actually if you look inside the bowl itself, it comes up up top right there. Um, and that gives it the flow so you don't get that stagnant water that the corals don't like. All right, so show me how the uh, the feeding part works. Let okay. me show me your feeder. You got a little specialized right, device so we, here. Uh, basically, just took your nice little pipette there. Uh, again, use the plastic tubing there. And what do you have loaded up in it right now? Uh, it's actually a special coral food that we mix up. Uh, mix the different types of corals. Uh, right. Coral foods. Sorry. Show me how you do this. So then, all you gotta do is just pop it right in there like that. Loop it around. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Okay. Let's see where your squirter. All right, give it a little okay. little pump. And then you just get it up in there like that, and very nice. Up it goes into there. Well, it's really cool that you're, uh, you know, recently set up, but I already have a fun little experiment hobby project going. Thanks for showing me that. Yeah, no problem.